Rotavirus is the most common serious diarrhea illness in infants and small children, responsible for over 500,000 deaths worldwide. Now, it is not a question about whether your child's going to get rotavirus. They are, and in fact, they're probably going to get it multiple times. It's most severe the very first time when you're over three months of age. Now, rotavirus is spread through the fecal oral route. You want to make sure you wash your hands real good. It's also spread through contaminated food and contaminated water. It has a very short incubation period. From the time you're exposed until you're sick is about 48 hours. Symptoms include terrible diarrhea, vomiting, low-grade fever, and some awful diaper rashes just from the sheer amount of loose stools. Complications include severe dehydration, electrolyte imbalances, and death, usually due to overwhelming organ failure from the dehydration. Prior to the vaccine, even in the United States, rotavirus was a terrible disease, usually responsible for over 400,000 office visits, 200,000 emergency room visits, and between 50 to 75,000 admissions to the hospital, usually 20 to 60 deaths per year, even in the United States with modern medicine. Now, in 2006, the viruses were licensed as a vaccine. There's two different types, both of them given orally and either in a two-dose or a three-dose schedule that's given at two months, four months, and six months. The vaccine's not given to anyone after the age of eight months simply because older children are able to tolerate the dehydration better and be encouraged to drink so that they don't have as much problems. Now, it is a live vaccine, so there are some reasons not to get this vaccine. We don't give it to anybody who has a severe immune problem or a moderate to severe illness. We shouldn't give it if somebody's had an allergic reaction to one of the components of the vaccine or has a history of a condition called intussusception. Intussusception is where the intestine telescopes inside of itself and can require surgical intervention. Common side effects include vomiting, diarrhea, low-grade fever, and some fussiness. This is a vaccine that's pretty well tolerated by both the parents and the children because it doesn't come with a needle. The other thing is to the little kids, it tastes like sugar. So it's not a bad vaccine to receive at all.